Welcome to the Empaths Power Channel, a support platform where empaths come together to share, grow, and thrive. Navigating the labyrinth of emotions that follow narcissistic abuse, one can frequently find themselves mired in chronic sadness. This profound emotional state, a far cry from mere situational unhappiness, can be an overwhelming companion after such a traumatic experience. Let's uncover how narcissistic abuse can manifest as chronic sadness and explore avenues towards healing and recovery. Narcissistic abuse is a unique form of emotional trauma. The narcissist, often charming and charismatic at first, slowly erodes the victim's self-esteem and personal boundaries, leaving a wake of confusion and self-doubt. The insidious nature of this emotional erosion can result in a deep-seated sadness, an emotional state that seems to have no end. At the core of this chronic sadness lies a profound sense of loss. Individuals may grieve for the relationship they thought they had, the person they believed the narcissist to be, or even the version of themselves before the abuse. This multifaceted sense of loss can manifest as an enduring melancholy, a shroud that colors all aspects of life. Isolation often accompanies chronic sadness in the aftermath of narcissistic abuse. The narcissist may have systematically cut off the victim from their support networks, leaving them feeling abandoned and alone with their sorrow. This isolation can exacerbate feelings of sadness and contribute to its chronic nature. Another aspect that can fuel chronic sadness is the erosion of self-esteem that occurs in narcissistic abuse. The constant belittling and manipulation can lead to feelings of worthlessness and a pervasive sense of being less than. This loss of self-esteem can feed into the cycle of chronic sadness, as individuals may believe they deserve nothing better. Interestingly, the cognitive dissonance experienced during narcissistic abuse can also contribute to chronic sadness. The struggle between the reality of the abuse and the illusion of love and affection presented by the narcissist can cause a deep internal conflict, leading to feelings of sadness and despair. It's also important to recognize that the trauma bond formed during narcissistic abuse can contribute to chronic sadness. This powerful bond, forged through cycles of abuse and reconciliation, can create a powerful emotional attachment to the narcissist. The breaking of this bond can result in profound sadness that extends beyond the typical grieving process. The sense of injustice and unfairness can also feed into chronic sadness. The realization that the narcissist may never fully acknowledge or face consequences for their actions can lead to feelings of anger and despair. This perceived lack of justice can perpetuate feelings of sadness and fuel its chronic nature. The experience of gaslighting, a common tactic in narcissistic abuse, can also contribute to chronic sadness. Having one's reality consistently denied and manipulated can lead to a sense of hopelessness and a belief that one's feelings and experiences are invalid. This invalidation can foster deep feelings of sadness and worthlessness. Moreover, the narcissist's lack of empathy can be deeply hurtful, leading to feelings of chronic sadness. The narcissist's inability to genuinely empathize with the pain they have caused can lead to a sense of profound loneliness and despair. It's also worth noting that the chronic sadness following narcissistic abuse can often be a manifestation of complex post-traumatic stress disorder, CPTSD. CPTSD can develop after prolonged, repeated trauma and is characterized by feelings of sadness, hopelessness, and a sense of being stuck in the past. Despite the profound nature of this chronic sadness, it's important to remember that healing is possible. The first step towards recovery is often acknowledging the abuse and the emotions that come with it. Understanding that the sadness is a normal response to an abnormal situation can provide some relief. Seeking support from trusted friends, family, or a mental health professional can be incredibly beneficial. Speaking about the experience can help individuals feel less alone and provide. Validation, a vital part of the healing process, can be the first step towards dissipating the cloak of chronic sadness. Hearing that one's feelings are valid and the abuse was real can help to break through the gaslighting and manipulation that have become the norm. Self-compassion is a critical element in overcoming chronic sadness. Individuals should treat themselves with the same kindness they would extend to a friend going through a similar situation. Recognizing that they did the best they could under challenging circumstances can help to rebuild self-esteem and encourage self-forgiveness. Practicing self-care can also play a significant role in managing chronic sadness. 
regular exercise, a healthy diet, adequate sleep, and activities that bring joy can all help to improve mood and contribute to overall well-being. Mindfulness and meditation can be valuable tools in navigating chronic sadness. By focusing on the present moment, individuals can learn to sit with their feelings without judgment or resistance, fostering acceptance and healing. Journaling can provide a helpful outlet for the torrent of emotions that can accompany narcissistic abuse. Writing about experiences and feelings can provide clarity, help in processing emotions, and serve as a record of personal growth and recovery. Reconnecting with loved ones and rebuilding social networks can help to alleviate feelings of isolation and provide much-needed emotional support. Community can be a powerful antidote to the loneliness that often accompanies chronic sadness. Therapeutic interventions, such as cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, or eye movement desensitization and reprocessing, EMDR, can be effective in addressing chronic sadness and the underlying trauma. These therapies can help individuals process their experiences, develop healthier coping mechanisms, and build resilience. Lastly, it's important to remember that healing takes time. It's normal to have good days and bad days, and progress is often nonlinear. Patience and kindness towards oneself can go a long way in navigating the path to recovery. Despite the pain of chronic sadness, individuals can emerge from narcissistic abuse with a deeper understanding of themselves and a renewed sense of strength and resilience. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights. Your support helps us continue to produce valuable content and raise awareness about important mental health topics.